Uh, hello and welcome everyone to Entrepreneur India. Uh, today we have a very special guest with us whose product or app has made heads turn. Uh, it has won the Atmanirbhar India App Challenge and has been endorsed by even the Prime Minister of the country. So let us welcome Mayank Bidwatka, the co-founder of the social networking app, Ku. Uh, so Mayank, uh, welcome and thank you for uh, talking to us today, taking our time. It's a pleasure to talk to you. Everyone wants to know about Ku and so here we are to ask you some questions so that people know more about Ku. So, you know, just to start with, what are the latest numbers for Ku in terms of uh, downloads and active users? Where have you reached? So we've crossed about 4.3 million on our app platform and, uh, you know, the web has seen tremendous growth as well. Uh, we've grown 50, 60 X on the web. You know, this is, these are people, uh, this is the diaspora trying to uh, use uh, the website where the apps are not available and things like that, you know, we're not yet available in Europe uh, because of GDPR compliance. We'll, we'll get there soon. So, you know, uh, uh, the growth has been uh, uh, way beyond what we expected it to be. So, yeah, it's it's nice. It's, uh, it's heartening to see this happening. Right. Yeah, it's giving you sleepless nights, I'm sure, about, uh, I'm sure, right? So, you know, in terms of active users, uh, so you have in like different languages right now. So which ones are the ones that have picked up the most? And if you can share some numbers uh, from there. Yeah, so Ku started in uh, March 2020, uh, so March end 2020, right? And we had started off in Canada. And uh, then we, we launched uh, Hindi, we had Telugu. Uh, uh, Bengali, uh, Tamil, uh, we were there in Marathi, there's a soft launch in Gujarati. So the bunch of languages that are that are now live uh, on the platform, they're all healthy, you know, we're much larger than any other competitor uh, in that language. Uh, the content size is uh, much more, the number of creators is much higher. Uh, so, uh, you know, we recently launched English and, you know, that's, that's got a great update with this entire thing uh, happening. You know, a lot of uh, folks from Twitter are trying out the product. Uh, but, you know, Koo's largely uh, been envisaged as giving a voice to Indian and Indian languages because that's really the gap. Uh, most folks that use uh, any micro blog today are largely using it in English because it was meant for the global audiences and was you know, uh, delivered in English and a couple of other global languages. But we have the kind of language diversity that we have that no other country in the world has, right? Uh, no, no country in the world has more than a couple of languages, right? And most of the large ones have just one language. We're the only country with thousands of languages, different dialects. We have 50 plus languages with over a million users. So you really need to Indianize microblogging for a larger India to be a part of it, right? And that's Ku's mission, saying let's let's get India here and let the voice of India and Indians be heard. Uh, you know, Twitter is a great product, right? I'm a big user of Twitter and tremendous respect for them. Uh, you know, as a joke, I would always say that if, if there's one internet product that I wish I had created, uh, it, it would have been Twitter. It wouldn't have been Facebook or Snapchat or Pinterest or WhatsApp. I identify so much with Twitter because my entire startup journey has been about democratizing something or the other, right? You know, Redbus was about democratizing uh, access to information on bus travel and simplifying it. You know, Media Ant was about democratizing media options. Goodbox was about democratizing access to having a mobile presence uh, for uh, 60 million SMEs in our country, right? Uh, the biggest thing that you could possibly do is democratize voice. And, you know, Ku is hence one of the most uh, largest projects that were undertaken in terms of size, in terms of scale, in terms of vision, uh, and I hope in terms of reality. Right? Because that's really what we want to achieve. You know, make any Indian uh, feel that they are heard. Okay. So, uh, 
That's right. So any numbers for these uh, specific languages uh, in terms of participation, in terms of active users, or you haven't tracked this yet? We're not sharing any of these numbers. Numbers, right. Okay. okay. It's, it's growing substantially across, yeah. Okay. All right. And you know, you just talked about that, you know, if there is one product you would have loved to build is Twitter. So, uh, you know, in the same vein, you know, uh, like when you know, Facebook acquired Instagram because they knew that the people behind Instagram, what they did in terms of tech was possibly not replicable or would have taken, you know, ages to uh, do that. The, uh, the, the use of tech that they had done, the algorithms that they were using. Now coming to you, you know, Twitter is a, like a, like a, like they must have maybe hundred times more engineers or people working for them. I'm sure you have a very smaller team. So, you know, how do you, how do you, how do you go to that level? I mean, of course you have a series A right now, but you know, still, uh, you know, getting all the features that would, I mean, not all the features I would say, but the kind of experience that a, a world-class platform gives us, what, what will it take for any Indian platform to do that? If you, even if you want to have a generic answer for that. Uh, we we have the tech talent, we have the intent, we have the capability, we'll do it in a fraction of uh, time and resources, that much I can guarantee you. Okay, okay. So, uh, uh, the reason I was asking that question is that, you know, at times we have seen in gaming uh, space, uh, especially, that, you know, someone, we have, uh, we have created uh, similar kind of products of, uh, of product which was made outside and then Indians used it, but it, it did not work with uh, with them. So uh, just, you know, what are the challenges, if I may ask you, that we, we face in terms of, you know, creating that kind of product? It is, is it the money or is it uh, the available infrastructure or what is it? So I, I think most people who comment on stuff like this, I think they're just, uh, how do I put it? I think they're just intellectually innocent, right? They're naive. Uh, and a lot of the times they just miss perspective. Uh, go back to Wayback Machine. It's a simple tool. Take a look at what Twitter looked like when they were eight months old, right? Uh, take a look at what Ku is uh, when we are eight months old. There's a, there's a world of a difference. You're trying to compare something that's been around for 15 years with something that's been around for less than 15 months, 10 months, right? Uh, there's a lot of learning to happen. Having said that, we have a lot of under the hood technology that is waiting to be unleashed in terms of machine learning, in terms of recommendations, in terms of people recommendations, in terms of content recommendations. So there's a lot of stuff that we built that companies would have taken years to build. Right. So that's perspective. Right. Uh, and that's an honest answer. I can give that's you a good answer of saying, yes, we're going to work hard and stuff like that. But I just want to be honest and tell you that a lot of hard work has gone in with a team that is, uh, you know, 1% the size of what Twitter has. Twitter has 4,000 people. We have 40 people. We're trying to compare something that's been around for a decade and a half, it's something that's been around for eight, 10 months. And we run two products today. We run Vocal and Coop, right? So that's something for perspective. Mm. Yeah, I'm sure. So, uh, you know, uh, how does it feel when, uh, you know, uh, we hear, you know, uh, uh, the union ministers, uh, Piyush Goyal and, uh, you know, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Ravi Shankar Prashad and then the prime minister himself. Uh, and I was reading that, uh, you know, uh, uh, cricketers, uh, Anil Kumble, Jawagal Srinath, and many people have joined. So, you know, how does it feel? Or do you think it was like a, like being at the right place at the right time? Or was it inevitable that was going to happen? Because you have a market, which is quite different. You know, Indian language in itself, we are like one state is one country, one European country possibly. And that has a different language. So. So how, how, how would you, uh, you know, uh, describe this, uh, what has happened to Ku right now? So we, we can break this down into multiple aspects, right? I mean, uh, did we have the uh, dreams to make this happen? We always dreamt about it. That, you know, we're going to create a product that the entire country will use. Uh, the top most uh, prominent faces of India will use it, right from the prime minister 
to uh, you know bollywood stars to cricketers uh, you know we as indians right i think you'll see certain characteristics the guy is trying to break the line he's trying to drive fast he's trying to get ahead you know and the global audience will look at it as you know this guy is a crazy guy is uh, is lacking uh, civil behavior and stuff like that but under the hood the reality is we're just so aspirational right we have big dreams we want to achieve we want to get ahead and that comes out in other forms so that is aspirational india right aspirational india wants to connect with the people that they look up to that platform has not been created right we have social media that largely caters to the mood of entertainment to indians right there is facebook there is tiktok there's gossip uh, platforms there's no platform for me to connect with the prime minister in my language there's no platform for me to connect with the chief minister of my state right and i speak sikkimese let's say i, I speak sikkimese right where is a platform that gets all the sikkimese people together where is a platform that gets all the manipuris together where is a platform that gets all the anvaids together right so those platforms have not been built and ku is one such platform that can be used across india so we always have the dream right we always have the vision of yes we're going to make this happen one day will it happen so fast and the fact that it's really happening you know i've never created a product which has been spoken of by the prime minister it's a it's a matter of pride for all of us right uh, you know winning that app challenge uh, being at this place at the right time like you said you know it's a right place right time uh, i think a lot of startups have an element of luck that's dropped on to them but they have to be prepared i think we were prepared i think this has been an element of luck uh, it has come at the back of someone else's misfortune right and i feel bad about it because that's that's a product that i really really have tremendous respect for right but it's it's worked out well for us right and i cannot complain about it <laughs> as you can see it's it's led to a lot of good things for us it's created network effects that are very difficult to create you know the government talking about it adds such a large seal of trust uh, to a platform like this which depends on trust right so a lot of things have fallen into place we worked really hard to get from you know where we started in march till now i would never have predicted that this would have happened in feb of 2021 you know so i i, I think we are all humbled we are extremely grateful for this uh, we have a lot of work ahead of us uh, a lot of responsibilities uh, that we shoulder you know we get emails from people saying you're doing this for the country and we're so proud of you you know that puts a lot of pressure on you right you feel like uh, you're in the stadium and you're uh, batting and you have a billion indians watching you right everyone has suddenly become a product manager we get emails saying you know this is a bug i'm really pissed off with you guys you should have fixed it you're doing it for india what the hell you were better than this and i understand that emotion he'll never get an angry email back from us because i totally get where where that guy is coming from he wants us to get better right he wants india to win so that's really the emotion that's behind our startup and i don't think any startup in the country till date has had this emotion behind them okay and i don't think there's anything wrong with uh, you know there are people who would say that you know it's not appreciated i think Absolutely. there's nothing wrong if you and you know just to put in perspective my this if you can explain see there was an option to tweet in other languages on twitter as well but you you were saying that you know uh, interacting with each other so if you can for the larger audience and for me even if you can just you know clarify that what is the distinction between the two that that, that you're pointing to uh, pointing towards yeah so there, there there's a simple difference right one is that when you uh, get on to ku and select a language all the instructions and everything is in that particular language right let's say that you you're a creator in telugu right you don't get discovery on twitter i have to use search right 
So I will use search only when I know you. But if I'm, you know, I'll probably search for KTR. I'll search for people that I know of in my region, right? So the famous guys get searched for and then they get followers. But what about guys like you and me? Not even you, but me. I'm a common man, right? Nobody knows me. So nobody's going to search for me, right? So I will never get discovered there among the Teleguides if I'm contributing in Telugu. On our app, when you select Telugu, you're shown a list of people who are contributing in that language, right? So you're shown faces that you may not have ever seen before. But these are content creators who've been creating consistently. They have a certain following. They have a certain reaction percentage. We have an algorithm that prioritizes people basis various variables, right? So we make discovery easy for a user to find a common man that is being loved on the platform or to find the most prominent faces. So it's not difficult to find people who are contributing in that language. That's one. As far as creation is concerned, you know, we allow people to create using text, audio or video. You will see that a lot of uh, the billion users that we talk about in India, which are vernacular and have never had access to the internet and stuff like that, for them, the keyboard is a new concept. You and me have gotten used to laptops, desktops, where the keyboard is an integral part of it. For them, it's very unnatural to be using a keyboard on their mobile. So voice creation is very important. So you will see that we have a voice creation button in our create you'll see there's a video creation button in our create. Now Twitter doesn't have any of that because the English speaking world is used to keyboards and they're used to uh, typing their thoughts out. So we have really Indianized micro blogging as a format and taken it for Indians. If you type something, let's say you want to write Chepu in uh, Telugu, right? Even if you write the English form, it will come out in the Telugu text. So there's a bunch of Indianization features that we've done that makes it very easy for the native Indian language speaker to use this product. And so say I've selected a particular language, say Telugu, I have selected, uh, and I'm following those people. So I won't see, uh, you know, things if that Telugu person has retweeted from say English or from say uh, Tamil or how, how, how does it work? Do I see everything that that person is? I see the entire activity of that person, right? Yeah. So uh, when you when you uh, uh, let's say you follow me, right? And uh, I'm I'm saying something uh, in English, but uh, you are you are following me in Hindi, right? And I created something when I was in Hindi as my language. You will see that. But if I'm creating something where my language was English, you will not see that because you made your intent very clear that you just want to follow me in Hindi, right? So we've actually made it easy for anyone who's a prominent face and wants to contribute in different languages to not flood up their feed uh, of users in other languages. Let's say the prime minister wants to say, good morning, India. And he's saying it in 15 languages. If you follow him in Hindi, you will not get all his 15 coups of different languages. You will just get the Hindi coup because that's what the requirement is. The person who speaks Telugu will get his coup only in Telugu. So we're, we're going to make it easy for people to have multilingual experiences. So if you, you know, you speak Hindi and in English, we'll allow you to have a feed in both the languages and, and in one place. So we're going to create these modular uh, templates that make it easy to customize the product. Okay, all right. You know, you word they used uh, two, three times. So I actually wanted to ask this upfront, but I'll ask you now. Uh, what's about this name, Ku? Uh, I mean, exp I mean, how did it? Uh, how what's the, How did it come to you that you know? Let's let's call it Ku. Is there a story? or just a random, I'm sure that there is a story, no one names randomly anything. So just share, share that with us. Yeah, so, uh, you know, we're talking about micro blogging, right? we're talking about communication, we're talking about messages from people. Uh, both of us uh, love creating brands, right? Me and Apramya. So uh, we're very cautious of creating 
uh, brands that bring out certain emotions in people, right? Uh, uh, we, we love associating a brand with an animal or some symbol that people can recognize. So we wanted uh, this to have the same emotional connect with people because we knew we're building for India, right? And India is an emotional country. So you need an emotional brand, right? When we thought of messages and communication, we said it has to be a bird because that is, uh, that's, the, that's the symbol of taking messages from one person to another. Right, Twitter is not a bird by chance. We did not copy Twitter when we're thinking of birds, right? They don't have the copyright, I mean, they don't have the right of. So, so we wanted it to be a bird, right? We wanted a very uh, a happy color to be associated with this bird because we, we understand that a large part of India is aspiration, aspirational, right? They want to associate with something happy and hence the yellow color. We have thought of the brand Kuhu because that's the sound of a bird, right? But Kuhu became two syllables. And you know, when you're creating a brand for a larger India, I cannot call it Bolo because it makes sense to the guy who speaks Hindi, but it doesn't make sense in Tamil and Kannada and every other language. I cannot call it something in Kannada because it doesn't make sense uh, to the other folks. I can't. I can't call I can't call it say because it doesn't make sense to anyone except for the English user. So when you're creating something that has to cut across languages, you have to use something that's emotional and vague to everybody, rather than making sense to one particular segment only. Right? You'd rather be vague to everyone. So we needed a brand which 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 could just be the sound of something. Right? So we thought of Kuhu, but Kuhu was too syllable was too long. It didn't roll off the tongue easy. And we did not want something like, a, you know, this is Twitter and this is a tweet, right? We wanted something that's common between them. So we said, Ku is still the sound, a sweet sound of a bird. And whether you use Ku or you go and create a Ku, it's the same. So that's the little story behind uh, the brand name. Yeah. You rightly said that when you're building a platform that has to cater to you know so many people speaking in so many languages, so it has to be a neutral word that everyone just feels it and that necessarily doesn't have to uh, mean something. So, uh, you know, moving on to another question. So you just said that you're not in Europe uh, because of the GDPR uh, uh, regulations. So when do we see you in uh, Europe? Have you pl already planned? And what other things we expect from Ku in the immediate and the distant future? You know, uh, our, our main uh, uh, objective is to bridge the language divide, to bring Indians together, to make it easy uh, for me to understand what you're saying, for you to understand what I'm saying with or without a language constraint. Uh, as a part of that vision, the first part is to make sure that we, we unite people who speak the same language. Right, and I think we've achieved that with the current format of the product. The next leg will be uh, interlanguage communication, right? Uh, connecting with people, even though they don't speak the same language as you, but you know, use translate, features, use multi-language capabilities. Uh, you know, create better. Uh, you should be able to create longer text by creating uh, sequenced coups, right? You should be able to schedule your coup. You're busy right now. You don't want to send it out, but you have the thought right now, you know, create drafts. You should be able to schedule a pool and say, send this out at 7 p.m. I've got the thought right now. I've, I've made note of it, but I want to send it out at 7 p.m. Right? So like that, we have a whole lot of features that we have in mind. You know, there's going to be cool live, there's going to be cool chat rooms. There's just so many things in mind with such a small team. So, you know, our priority right now is just to go ahead, hire, create a large, great team that can, you know, realize all these dreams. So, yeah. And what about Europe, if you want to share? Yeah, so, uh, you know, there, there is a, there, there's a certain timeline to be able to, uh, uh, you know, comply with GDPR. I'm, we're still in the uh, process of uh, getting the details and stuff like that. So, uh, but as soon as that's done, you know, we will, we will announce 
uh, uh, presence there, I, I don't have a clear cut timeline out of the whole year. So, uh, you know, uh, uh, coming to a different question, you know, uh, you know, in India, we have uh, examples of uh, uh, startups which are really big. In, if you see it, uh, taxi, uh, uh, you know, uh, tax, uh, uh, the, the taxis, uh, the internet taxis that we use, or uh, in food also, we have seen uh, some of the players who, you know, were there in the Western world, but, you know, they, they came here, but Indian, Indians fought with them, I mean, com competed and succeeded. Uh, but then there are other examples also which have failed. There was a messaging app service which recently got closed because uh, it could not take on the, uh, the challenges. So, so some work, some doesn't work. So what do you think is your USP? Obviously, you've said that, you know, languages are there. But if you have to compete, you'll have to really, uh, you know, think of taking it to, uh, to, to the next level, to, to outside the country as well and others. So what do you think makes Ku uh, at a very comfortable place where you will be the next big one in this space? Because we've also seen some uh, others who have had, kind of had uh, similar features were there, but have not made that big. So, so if you can, uh, you know, just in a nutshell, tell me what's the USP that you think will make Ku stand out even, you know, if things are not, if things, you know, uh, Twitter and, and the government is easier out. So I think that, uh, you know, a lot of these products that we speak of, right, uh, they, they are successful because they're able to create a network. All internet businesses that we've seen in the last decade or so, pretty much starting from Red Bus Tales, it's always been about network creation. It's not the app, it's not the UI, it's not the design. You know, this is above the hood kind of things that we see, right? The difficult part is to crack the network. And, uh, you know, we've had experiencing, uh, experiences in cracking chicken and egg problems, right? What is the chicken and egg problem? Creators won't come till users come. Users won't come unless creators come. That's your, that's your deadlock. That's a chicken and egg problem. We've run enough internet businesses to know how to crack this. There are very few entrepreneurs in the country who made this happen, right? Uh, fortunately, both of us have cracked chicken and egg problems in our careers earlier in, in the startup uh, ecosystem, right? Uh, so that's one, right? A lot of the, any other player who launches this will not know how to crack network effects will not know how do you solve the chicken egg problem. I've seen some people trying to do this in the past and now, and you know, they'll just copy paste the profile of the prime minister and put it on the app and say, this guy's here and you can interact with him. That's not how you crack the chicken and egg problem. That's the fastest way to get to jail, right? So you cannot copy paste certain things and say, and misrepresent and say, this person is now here. Because when someone comments on that person's post and the person does not respond, you left him in a very, very dicey situation. So you have people who are trying to do something like this in India even today, and it's being done wrong, right? So unless you crack network effects, uh, unless you crack the chicken and egg problem, you will not be able to do this. And these are very defensible businesses, right? It's very difficult to earn the trust of the prominent faces that are coming on to Ku, right? Uh, Ku's existence goes beyond this little event that has happened. Our objective is to reach 250, 300 million Indian users using our product every day, right? The 1 million spike that we get from some Twitter users moving here is going to look like one small event that happened in the lifetime of our company, right? We're trying to build something of great value here by catering to a real problem statement. And the real problem statement is that there are 60 to 70 million Kannadas in the world, uh, Kannadigas in the world, and there are less than 1,000 Kannada tweets every day. That is not close to the potential of this community. And you can see that happening across every Indian language, right? We're trying to crack that problem. 
For that, you need to create very, very immersive experiences into the product. And that's basically what we're busy doing. It's not about the features. It's about the kind of people you get, the kind of trust that they enjoy here, the traction that they get. It's a bunch of 20 things coming together that start working out for you. You know, there are celebrities here who get almost 20x the followers that they get on Twitter every day. What they have gained over 10 years as followership, they might uh, get here in less than a year. That is a network effect. That makes sure that that person will never ever leave this place. And if that person never leaves, you've got uh, a million users getting access to that celebrity's thoughts every day for the rest of his life. That's a network effect you cannot emulate. So there are lots of things that are under the hood uh, in terms of technologies, in terms of recommendations that, that we're going to work on. We're going to be far ahead than anyone else in the world, not just India. Okay, I'm, I wish you do that. We'll be more than happy to see you doing that. How do you react when you read headlines like Twitter, like Platform 2? What do you, what do you say about it? How do you react to it? I am, uh, I've told you, I'm a huge fan of Twitter, right? Uh, I think that, uh, so again, you know, I'm happy to share perspective, right? But Google wasn't the first search engine. It was the 17th search engine. It's a fact. Uh, you know, uh, I think what really matters in the world uh, of entrepreneurship, where you don't start out with, uh, you know, you start with statements of, I'm going to solve this problem. And this problem is genuine. And I can see it and nobody else sees it. Right? Uh, that's basically been our case. We've been talking about vernacular and the power of India and, you know, it has to be unleashed across languages and stuff like that. We've been talking about it for a few years, right? And Apramya was one of the first uh, uh, entrepreneurs who left a transaction business and started thinking about these things. You know, all credit to him. He's, he's the one who did this, right? Uh, because he was dealing with cab drivers when he was running taxi for short. Right, uh, and I identified with it because of my background. You know, I speak Hindi at home with my mom, so I understand the language divide. So when we're creating products like this, which is for a good part uh, of the country, uh, it helps when people say it's like Twitter. You know, till there were they used to. You know, I've read the book Hatching Twitter, and if you've read it, you know that. The founders used to have a disagreement about what is Twitter. For the first few years, when Twitter was there in the world, I had no idea what Twitter was. Is it about what are you doing? Is it about what is happening? These are two different things, right? And they would always have arguments about what should we write in that text where you can create a tweet? Should we say, what are you doing? Or should we talk about what's happening? Because what are you doing is about me and what's happening is about the world. Right? So what should we stand for? So Twitter is not an easy product to explain to someone who's not seen microblogging or expression in the world. When people say that you're just like Twitter, I can understand why they're saying it and I don't take it personally. We say that we are like Twitter. There's nothing wrong in it. It just makes it easy for people to understand that, well, you know about Twitter, but this is something that's different. Why? Because we're solving it uh, for you in your uh, Indian language. Is this easier to explain, right? So none of these statements are taken personally and alike. Like I've said to you, right? I'm a huge fan of Twitter. The media doesn't talk about it, uh, but anyone who knows me knows that I'm a, I'm, I'm a huge proponent of democratizing voice and there's no product in the world that democratizes voice as well as Twitter does. I would never have access to President Obama's thoughts if Twitter wasn't there. That's a great value add in the world, right? We want to do exactly the same thing, but we want to do it for India, right? So, so that's where our head is at. Oh, okay. But just a thought, uh, Mayan. So you said democratizing Twitter was about democratizing. But if you, if you say that we're doing it for India and if it gets 
regionalized that it's not democratizing right it's the other way around is it or am i wrong? am i reading it wrong somewhere i don't I, I don't think so so again you know urban users like us we want to connect with the world right uh, you talk to the normal user who's speaking a language he wants to connect with the government he wants to connect with his favorite star that favorite star is not some hollywood actor it's not the president of the united states he wants to connect with his community here you have to enable that so broader india there's a reason why bollywood movies are in hindi right it's not like the actors can't speak english why is it in hindi because that's what a majority of the uh, population is regional movies are made in regional languages and not in english the english movie will not make close to uh, as much in the box office as a, a language movie will make right so that's the reality of india so that particular indian doesn't want to connect with the globe he wants to connect with other people in the community and that's basically what you are enabling i'm saying one very simple thing india is the second largest internet population in the world after china a internet population is going to be more than double the size of the united states and Uh, a few years hence triple the size of the entire population of the united states that's how large it is right you have global companies coming here for their growth trajectory because they have uh, they have uh, you know they they made their product accessible to the rest of the world if they need to grow they need to show a big spike in india where you, where we have 1.3 billion people where you have uh, 500 million internet users right so the world is coming here and we talk about going global i don't understand that phenomenon why aren't we building for india india is a massive market you have enough companies that have shown that if you build for india you can create some of the largest countries in the world right we are very very focused on solving problem statements for india there will be opportunities for us to go global when we have great technology that works across languages across the globe there will be problem statements at that time if there is some problem statement that we think is relevant we will look at uh, solving in global markets but i think you know what, what we're doing today as a product solves it for the indian market for sure okay great so you know probably the last question mind to you so if i if i have to ask you to be self critical uh you know and tell us that you know uh, these are the possible things that we lack right now and uh, will have to be addressed or we should have thought about in the hindsight maybe now that you have so many users so what what, what would those be so many things <laughs> i'm sure <laughs> any startup has so many so many problems i mean see you know where where both the kind of personality is that have no ego and we were straight to the face we tell you exactly how it is i think we could have been more prepared i think we could have had larger teams uh you know uh we could have so we could we have predicted exactly this happening at this time no we were working towards preparedness right uh in some aspects we were caught a little off guard and we could have been a little more prepared like in terms of technology there were certain things that broke uh you know we had otp issues we had people from around the world trying to access ku and in some countries we were unavailable and we could have put up better messages that you know we're not servicing this country right now but we will inform you so i think uh, in terms of preparedness uh given the uh, given how small we are as a startup and the time we've been around i think we've been more prepared than any other startup but we don't stop beating ourselves to we could have done a better job right uh, that's this that's just the curse of being a serial entrepreneur saying you know could have done better uh, won't let this happen again and uh, and we'll make up for it right we we will show you uh, one of the best products you would have seen coming out of india from cool i'm sure and i wish that uh, that happens we all will be happy to see that right thank you so much for joining us today it was really a real pleasure to understand uh, what the product is because we've been hearing about uh, you know what the 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 the, 
the fame that you've got, but understanding the product and what your vision is very important uh, to, to understand how we are going to see the future. Thank you so much for joining.